look at this crib in all of its glorious antiquity every curve and surface speaks to me saying pamper and spoil me sand me and oil me come on i know to the untrained eye it's boring but nothing's a chore when you're restoring apart from frustration pain and financial drain it's fun folks say adam why do you polish a crib when you don't have a kid? And even if you did have a kid, this crib is too precious for placing a baby inside it. So it simply exists to remind you your sense of perfection is just a reflection that you are not mentally prepared to make room for a kid. Adam, why don't you live? Adam, just make a start. Are you willing to take the next step? Ready, set, ready, set. Look at these jugs. Amazingly glazed and terracottery I took some clay and made you pottery The world will never wreck you I'll protect you in a mother's embrace Folks say, Barbara, why can't you see that ceramics is simply a manifestation of motherly panic? By making a baby that's breakable, aren't you creating a way of translating the terror of making maternal mistakes into clay? Hiding away so you don't have to face being a bad mom? Barbara, that's what you've done! Floorboards. You are absolutely right. Let's add it to the list with the cracks in the plaster. A wife I should be past her. This sofa needs a caster. The bathroom's a disaster. What about global poverty? What about world peace? And there's the whole darn economy. The whole Middle East. We should learn Mandarin. Yeah, or Spanish at least. No habla espanol. It's a show about death. 